Hi, my name is Darren Willis. I'm going to be your instructor for Industrial Drawing B12, Introduction to Drafting and Computer-Aided Drafting. Looking forward to working with you this semester. I'm sure we're going to have a good time and be very successful. One of the options that we have for this semester is to work in online format. And I'm doing that because I realize not all of you really want to come onto campus. And you have very good reasons for not wanting to do so. I understand. So if you're going to be working from home uh, on your own computer, taking care of the work and maintaining contact with me, uh, this is going to be important that we check in on a regular basis and that you get some direction and instruction on what needs to be done so you can move forward with as much success and as little frustration as possible. There are some of you that want to work in hybrid format, and hybrid format is similar to online. You're going to be responsible for taking part of the class uh, on your own, basically, by watching our recorded lectures and practices on how to do the work. But you will have the option to come in and use the lab. So this is for people that don't maybe have their own computer or don't have a quiet place at home to work or just need that structure of going to class to do work because we're very distracted at home. At least I know I am. So well, if you want to do the class in hybrid format, again, it's going to be important that we maintain some good communication and contact with one another as we're moving forward. And every week what we'll be doing is we'll be having a video like this helping you to get started. Now there are some of you that indicated that you might want to come in a little bit more often uh, and to do the class kind of more in a traditional format. I'd like to do that, but the unfortunate thing that we just realized was uh, because the class is listed as hybrid, they've knocked about an hour off the class. And because they've knocked that extra time off, it would be very challenging to try to teach the material face-to-face -face in the amount of time that we have. So uh, even if we plan on coming in two days a week and taking care of our classwork and doing things in more of a face-to-face -face modality, you're still going to be responsible for taking care of some of the learning on your own and then using the lab and me as your resource to help you along if you're stuck or you need some extra assistance. So the most important thing we can do right now is probably take you into Canvas and show you how the Canvas page is laid out what to get set up for this week, how to proceed, and we can start off with a good strong first week. All right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be interacting a lot using the Canvas uh, learning management system. And if you haven't used it very much in the past, that's okay. If you're very comfortable and familiar with Canvas, then this will be a breeze for you. The best way to get to Canvas is to go to the home page for Bakersfield College. Uh, up in the top left corner, you'll see a Inside BC button on the black ribbon there. And give that a click, and that'll bring you to Inside BC. And then if you are signed in, you should see a listing of courses here. Yours will say Student Courses, and it will show the courses that you are taking this semester. Of course, mine shows the courses I am teaching this semester. And by clicking on the course link, that will take you right into the course. What I've done is I've set my screen up that should look like yours and uh, hopefully that's the case so if we take a look here when canvas opens up to our class uh, this is what we've been seeing all the way up until today so if you've logged in and you've browsed around the page um, and taken a look at what's there we had some information on required class materials like our textbook which is a class pack that you'll purchase at office max uh, there are some mechanical drawing tools that we're going to be using in the second half of this class, starting after the midterm. Uh, and here's some information about where those are obtainable and the approximate cost for those. Uh, you'll need some standard school supplies. And then for someone taking the class remotely off at home and you can't make it onto campus, uh, you're going to need a couple of other things, right? You're obviously going to need a computer. Uh, and on that computer, you're going to need to be able to install AutoCAD software. So this was the information on what kind of computer do you need, what peripherals do you need, and how to get that AutoCAD software for your home computer. You're also going to need a drawing tool that we normally provide in the lab. Now the drawing tool is it called a T-square, and there's a couple of links here for two different T-squares. That takes care of our required and suggested materials for the class. Down the bottom here, we had a link that was some videos on Welcome to Industrial Drawing. So we take a look 
and these are videos embedded in canvas if you give a click on them they'll work through the uh, the process of showing you what I want you to see so this first one is basics of canvas for those not familiar with it uh, some of the global settings in canvas if you're a canvas power user you want to have a little bit more control about what things you're notified about We're working with zoom not all of us are zoom experts so there's some information about zoom and then just some protocols if we're gonna be working online uh, just some things to keep in mind about doing anything online in zoom related to school and that's a PowerPoint you can either view it right here on the screen by clicking on it or you can download it and have a look at it uh, there are important points about the syllabus that I like to cover and make sure that we're all aware of and understand going into the class so this is a review of the high points on the syllabus uh, after you watch that and listen to that, there is a small quiz to make sure that we're all on the same page about how things are going to be taking place in class, some of our procedures, some of our expectations. And then introductions, this is who I am, uh, and uh, tell you a little bit about me, and then you're going to tell me a little bit about you. The uh, student information sheet, we'll give that a click, and it will give us some options on how we can make a report back to me on what your goal is with the class, um, what your long-term plans are, and if you have any related experience to the sorts of things we're going to be doing in here. Okay, so this is all stuff on that Welcome to Industrial Drawing page. All right, and the basic idea is anything in blue is a link, right? If you highlight it, click on it, it'll bring you to someplace new. Now the Zoom link, this is just a uh, page that's set up for you guys. If you ever need to get in touch with me during the normal office hours on Zoom, uh, this would be the link to click on. You could also type in the meeting ID if you wanted to do it that way. All right, but this is a one-stop shop. Just click on it. It'll open up a Zoom session, and that will open up to my room. And then finally, student services. Student services are things that are going to make your life easier here on campus. And let's face it, it hasn't been easy for anybody for the last three semesters, and it might not be easy for quite a while yet. So uh, the student information desk is to help you on different things about counseling, uh, registration, working with Canvas, financial aid. If you have any questions at all, give a click on the student information desk link, and that will open up a window. And it actually opens a Zoom session. You'll be talking with a live human being on the other end to get your questions answered or get directed to resources. Academic support services are if we're having troubles, we're struggling with our classes, we need some help, or we want to know about study groups, or we want to know about the Writing Center. Right? All that can be found through the Academic Support Services link. Veteran services, there are some special services if you are a veteran. Um, if you are, take advantage of these things. There's no reason to say, I don't want to take any extra help. The help is there to make sure that you are as successful as possible. And then finally, a uh, homepage for BC Student Services. If there is anything else that you need, uh, they are here to help you. So you can make appointments for in-person, you can make an online appointment, and uh, we can get you assistance and whatever you're going to need to be successful this semester. There's a whole bunch of info here on financial aid, and I'm not a financial aid expert, but there's quite a bit of helpful stuff here. How to make an appointment with someone in financial aid, several of the different aid programs that are available to help you to pay for your classes, for your books, for your materials, for other incidentals while you're getting your education. There are federal programs, there are state programs, there's emergency aid programs. Uh, this is pretty extensive. I appreciate the uh, faculty member that put all this together for you. Take a look at it. Uh, you can even get a Chromebook, or in our case, there are several laptops that are available for CAD students because AutoCAD doesn't run on a Chromebook. So if you wanted to get a real laptop to use for the semester at home, that can be arranged. Okay, so that's our student services. And this was all the stuff that you would have had access to before the class opened up. I like to make this stuff available early so that your first week can go a little bit easier. But let's just say for the sake of argument you didn't take a look at any of this, that's okay. Uh, let's just take a look at what we're going to be working with from here on out. 
So from here on out, if you click on the Home button after you sign in, uh, you're going to land here. You're going to land on the home page, which for us starts off in our class pack at the Unit 9 materials. My in introduction to drafting in CAD classes, well, we start with CAD. And if that doesn't sound like it makes sense to you, why would you start with CAD and then do a hand drawing lessons after that? I've got my reasons. And as we uh, work together this semester, you'll see that these reasons, it might not make sense when we start. But it'll make a lot of sense once we get to the midterm, okay? So we're going to be starting with an introduction to AutoCAD this week. And uh, the information at the top whets our appetite for what is to come. Uh, our objectives for the week. Uh, you need to be able to identify the elements of the AutoCAD interface. So when you open up the program and you're looking at all these different things on the screen, well, what are they? <laughs> what do they do? How are you going to not get lost when you open up this software, which on the surface looks kind of complex? Um, you should be able to, by the end of this week, create a drawing, open drawings that you've saved, and save your own drawings. Uh, you should be able to draw, select, and uh, modify basic drawing entities. So we'll be drawing some lines and some circles, we'll be deleting things and modifying things a little bit. Uh, you'll have some basic CAD skills by the end of this week, which is exciting. Uh, there are several ways of accessing the tools in AutoCAD. One of them is using the ribbon, which runs across the top of the screen. Uh, you'll also be able to talk to AutoCAD in the, uh, the tr more traditional method of typing in what you want it to do, and it will respond to you. The biggie for the week is actually this one, number five. It's understanding how to do file management. And if you're like most people, you're probably a little sloppy about how you save your computer files or where you save them or what you name them. In CAD work, that's disastrous. So one of the big goals for the week is to set up some good file management strategies and then to work on them through the course of the semester until we're organized and efficient. And then finally, we talk a little bit this week about how to uh, recognize the different classes in the industrial drawing pathway so that if you decide, hey, I'd like to do a little bit more of this, you have an idea of the, how to proceed through the, through the coursework. So those are our objectives for the week. Uh, getting started, well, this is the getting started video that we're working on right now. And you'll see this every week, uh, the beginning of the new week, uh, week one getting started. Next week, it'll be week two getting started. Okay, and then this gives our people doing the class wholly online or mostly hybrid with occasional visits to the campus. This gets you set up so you know exactly what to do and how to get it done. Class materials, this is a link to what we were just looking at over the last couple of weeks while the class was live. It was the required equipment, it was the introduction to the class, the Zoom link, student services, all those goodies. For the people that were uh, here and did that, great. Now if you weren't, I've got it all here too. Welcome to Industrial Drawing. And those are our same videos that I set up, so if you've already watched them, there's really no reason to watch them again, right? Basic and intermediate canvas, using Zoom, uh, the syllabus, and then who am I and who are you? We got that all covered already, maybe. Okay, so that's the link back to that class material page. Here's those introductory videos for those that haven't seen them yet. Unit 9 checklist. This might be very helpful to keep you on track and to make sure that nothing gets skipped. Because, you know, looking at the page here, you might say, well, what, are, what do I do first? What's the order of doing stuff? How, how does this work? Well, that's what the checklist is for. So if you take a look at the Unit 9 checklist, you'll see, starting with the first cell here, this is what we got to do. You're going to start by getting your Unit 9 Canvas page and your class pack materials ready to go. And then go through, watch your materials. Um, you're going to be looking at the introduction for the class and the syllabus and the instructor, well, take the syllabus quiz, right? Where is that found? That's found on the assignments down below. Handouts, exercises, lectures, assignments. Hey, there it is. There's the syllabus quiz. Okay, so if you haven't taken it yet, that's how you can get to it. Uh, download and fill out and submit your student information sheet. That's also under assignments. So. Where is it? Student information sheet. There it is. 
Okay, so the idea is the checklist tells you what to do and what order to do it in so that things make sense and that we're not getting confused and we're not skipping anything. You can actually go in there and you can print this page out. If you print the page out, you'll get the table. It tells you what to do, where to find the stuff you're looking for. And I left off a column here with a bunch of blank spaces for you to put a little X in the box when you're done so that if you start at the top and you work your way through to the bottom, then by the time you get to this last cell, you know everything has been complete and you are done for the week. Okay, so you might want to use this. This is a hugely helpful tool, I think, to help keep you straight as we're working through the material. Hey, here's that Zoom link again. If you need to contact me, you're having problems, you're stuck, you got questions, right? We can click on the Zoom link during class or office time and you'll have access to me so we can talk face to face. And if I have to, I can reach through the computer, uh, through the internet, take control of your computer, show you my computer. You can show me what you're doing. If something's not working, I can show you how to make it work. All right, so that's our getting started material for the week. We have some handouts that you need to download. So part of the, the class is you might have to print things once in a while. So you can click on the item to download it. This is called Guided Notes Intro to CAD. Click on the little download icon and you'll see that downloads into your downloads folder. Right, and then our uh, unit nine is the first unit in the class pack we're working with. Now I realize that not all of you probably have the class pack on the first day of class. That's fine because what I did is I took the first unit that we're working in, we're working in unit nine. Um, I took it, I turned it into a PDF, I stuck it on here and you can download this to work with it this week until you get your printed class pack copy. Okay, I won't be putting all the units up, but for the first week, I don't mind doing it because the first week's always dicey, right? So here's Unit 9, Introduction to Computer-Aided Drafting and AutoCAD. And as you go through, you'll see there's material. Sometimes there's material for you to fill in that goes along with the lecture. Uh, a lot of times there's supplemental or ancillary information that helps you out, goes along with uh, the assignments. There's a lot of graphics. I try to make this as worker friendly as possible as you're going through. Lots of arrows, tells you what to change, how to change it, what to change it to. Okay, and our goal for the week is to be comfortable starting the software and doodling around with it a little bit. And going through the materials in the course pack will help you to do that. All right, so here's our first unit. It's unit nine. Exercises. Exercises are things that you're going to need to download and work on later. So during my video lecture, you'll see me open this file up and then do some stuff with it. And the way I approach these classes is that you can't just listen to my instruction. You can't just watch the instruction. You can't even just listen and watch the instruction. You really need to listen, watch, and do. So when you see me working on the screen, doing something, you need to be doing the same thing. This is the difference between succeeding in this class and bombing out. Okay, and I've seen it now for three semesters. People that go through and do the work and the practices while I'm doing them on the screen, they do it, they try it. If they can't do it, they try it again. If they can't do it still, they reach out to me. We give you some help so you can do it. That will mean the difference between you having a great semester and a terrible semester. All right, and really, I'm sure I'm going to be very happy to meet all of you eventually, uh, but I don't want to meet you again after this semester for this class. I'd like you to take this class, be successful with it, and then go on to your next step in your, in your educational goal. I don't want you to have to take Industrial Drawing B12 again. Okay, so let's take it once, and the secret to taking it once is following along, doing what I'm doing, watching me do it, and then you doing it until you're comfortable with it. All right, and a lot of the exercises that we work with are CAD files that you'll download, and then you'll be asked to do things during the lecture in that file. Okay, lectures. Uh, the importance of industrial drawing. Uh, it is a small typed up document that I need you to read. Uh, sometimes the lecture is material just like this, where it's just typed out. 
and then sometimes the uh, materials are video material. So like down here where it says video lecture, B12 unit 9, this is going to bring you over to YouTube. Grammarly, Grammarly does more than more catch, than catch errors. errors. With Grammarly, With Grammarly, you can find really good. Really good. No. No. Thanks for the ads. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen welcome to Industrial Drama. And what you're going to see is that this is not just one video, because this will be a long video. Uh, this is the beginning of a playlist. So here is B12 Unit 9 Video 1A, 1B, 2, 3A, 3B. So down the side here, you can see that this is a series of videos between 5 and 10 minutes each that are going to take you through the lecture for the week. So you'll notice when I wanted to see it, though, I went on the little button at the end there to go out to YouTube, because if you just click on this, uh, it might just play it in your browser on the screen there, and that's a bad idea. We don't want to have a little video here, because it only plays one video out of the 10 or 12 that are actually out there. Okay, So this is our video instruction. Uh, file management is another typed up lecture. Okay, and there's actually some instructions on this lecture on what you need to do to get your files set up so that they're easy to manage. Okay, so this is our lecture section of the Canvas page. When we've gone through the practices and we've watched the videos and we've read the lecture and we've looked at the course pack to make sure that everything we're supposed to do, we got it in our brain, we can start working on the assignments. So the syllabus quiz. Syllabus quiz is going to be, maybe we take it this week because we didn't take it previously, but if you've already done it, don't do it again. Right. Uh, read the Unit 9 materials in the class pack once you've done everything above so that everything gels in your head. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, fill out and submit your student information sheet. Okay. And then our first drawing assignment, our first CAD drawing assignment, is something called B12-1A. And uh, I call it circle in the square. What you're going to do is when you click on this, it's going to bring you over to a canvas page. Um, you'll have critical information up top, like a due date, how many points it's worth, what you are submitting, what kind of file I want you to submit. The task lays out what you need to do. The assignment, this one, requires that you use the AutoCAD software. And then my little graphic down here shows you what I'd like you to draw. Okay, there's usually a section of helpful hints on make sure you do this and make sure you don't do that. Common mistakes that I see people make or things that are helpful to know. And then finally, what to submit. So if you are hybrid or online, what are you going to submit? Well, you're going to submit your DWG file using the button at the top of the assignment. There's a start assignment button up here and that will let you submit your file when it's done. Uh, for a face-to-face -face class, we'd be printing things out, but that's not going to be the case, I don't think, for the vast majority of us. All right, so this is what an assignment looks like. Um, you're going to be taking some notes during class. You're also going to have to turn those notes in when the week is over. So instructions here on how to do that. And then just a reminder to get your class materials. So the assignments kind of lay out what is expected of you. And again, if you follow the checklist, everything will be in order. Things won't be skipped. You'll do things when you need to do them. And if I don't want you to do something, uh, you'll see it blacked out. And by blacked out, here's what I mean. Uh, let's go to this one. You see how the text over here has been blacked out? Yeah, I have a black highlight over some dark, dark, dark gray text. Then it looks like a black band. Well, that's nothing that I have messed up on. That's intentional. If I don't want you to do something, it'll have a black highlight over it. So when you see that, it just means not for you. Don't worry about doing it. All right, so that brings us through our getting started. That brings us through the handouts, downloading and printing them downloading our exercises, getting the lecture information, knowing where to access our assignments, 
And then finally down the bottom here, we have some resources. Resources are things that will maybe make your job a little bit easier, uh, maybe be helpful as you're working with some new technology. Sometimes uh, resources are things that add to what we've done in class. They're not 100% required or necessary, but if you're really intent on studying and learning this material and getting a deeper understanding of things, I'll put some resources in here for you. So like for this week, we've got the free AutoCAD download for you if you want to download the software for your home use. Here's a little blurb on AutoCAD Basics that would be good to look at after the week is after the lecture materials for the week are done. There are some additional resources for the Unit 9 materials. And actually there are none, but if there were, I'd have some video link here or some text. And then finally, that student services link, you're going to see that every week on the uh, resources, just because I don't want you to have to go looking for it if you need it. If you're having problems, you need to get help quickly. Student services is the best place to go find that stuff, okay? Uh, at the very end, here is our wrap-up. And the wrap-up is the high points, right? It's the main ideas behind the instruction for the week. So when you are done with your lesson for the week and you've completed your assignments and you've read the material in the class pack, you want to go through and make sure that you're in agreement with everything that says here in the wrap-up. And if you are, that means you understand the major concepts and important points of the lessons for the week. At the very bottom, I've got a little thing here that says time machine. <laughs> the time machine is simply how we can move from unit to unit. Okay, so right now, <clears throat> uh, the unit 10 materials for next week are not available yet. If you click on them, it'll tell you you are not authorized to go there yet. But they will be opened up next week on Monday. Uh, for now, though, don't worry about it. We're going to just focus on this week's material this week. If we go to the top of the Canvas page on the side here, you'll see the number of our buttons to work with have been reduced. It's very simplified. I'm only giving you the things that you absolutely need. So here is our home screen. You click on the Assignments tab. You're going to get a list of the assignments that are upcoming. And here we see that there are two. And here we see there is a couple of undated ones that I need to put due dates on. But this is what we're looking at right now. Our first assignment is due in three days on August 26th at 11.59 p.m. And that would be the student information sheet. Syllabus quiz due August 29th at 11.59 p.m. All right. Uh, discussions. <clears throat> discussions would be a great way if you had a question to get your question answered quickly and easily. Uh, if you would like to ask a question that's kind of a basic question, click on the plus discussion button and that will open up a little window for you to type your question into. Now, you might say, why would I want to uh, ask my classmates for an answer to something? Well, the fact is, if we were in class and you were sitting next to somebody, you would be helping each other and you'd be asking each other questions. And of course, that's a little bit trickier when we're doing things online. So. If you participate in discussions, that means if you post questions and answer questions, uh, then when it's the end of the semester and I'm looking at rounding grades a little bit in your favor, uh, the people that posted and helped the most will get the most consideration when it comes to things like rounding up an 89.2% to an A or rounding up a 79.74% from a C to a B. Okay, so discussions are not bad, discussions are good, and I will go through and I'll periodically check to make sure that the discussion board is, uh, is being maintained and that all the answers on there are correct answers. If you go to the grades button, we'll see the uh, two things that are in here with due dates, right? Student info sheet and the syllabus quiz. This is the score you got. This is the out of how many points it was worth. And right now you'll see that this student has not submitted anything, uh, so they don't have any score. Uh, sometimes you'll see a little I with a slash on it. It means the instructor has not graded it yet. 
So the only time you really need to worry about a score is when you see a zero for your score. Okay, so if you see the I with the slash, have no fear. If you see a dash, don't worry. It's not affecting your grade. If you see a zero, different story. we got to get that attended to. And then finally, the last link is the syllabus. Uh, the syllabus as it stands currently with all the uh, COVID restrictions and modifications is included in here. So take time to review. Uh, make sure you don't have any questions. And this is going to conclude our discussion on Welcome to Week 1 for Industrial Drawing B12. And if you have trouble, if you need assistance, please reach out to me. Uh, one of the best ways to do that is through the inbox in Canvas. Click on the inbox, and if you're not in a fake student account like I am, <laughs> it'll open up to your Canvas inbox, and then... You've got your courses that you're taking. You can send me an email. We can chat and we can work through Zoom if necessary. And of course, if you need to, you can come onto campus to use the labs. Uh, I'm setting, keeping the class in hybrid so that people that don't have access to a computer or a quiet workspace have a lab to come in and work with. So we can talk about um, signing into Canvas. Oh, I'm sorry, signing into class. Uh, using the COVID daily checker if you come onto campus when I see you as necessary, okay? And I look forward to working with you this semester. I hope you have a fantastic first week, and we will talk soon. If you have any questions, please don't feel funny about reaching out and talking. Uh, that's why I'm here. That's why I get the big bucks, okay? I get paid by the question. So don't hold back. Don't be shy. Let's communicate frequently, and we'll talk soon. Have a great day.